Hello everyone, welcome to SAP Technomania. In this video, we are going to discuss tedious and different wrap artifacts naming convention. We are already following the naming convention in our older objects like the report, interfaces, classes, and the internal naming conventions like the variables and the tables. We are already following and that is proper in our company whenever we create the new artifacts we will go to the, our ABAP standard documentation and we will follow the same but CDS and wraps wrap artifacts are new so whenever we create the CDS view we will think what naming convention I should give there are different kind of CDS views there are different kind of wrap artifacts like the behavior definition uh, we have the metadata extension we have the uh, local handler classes and a lot of other things are there so for that what naming convention I should use and clients also ask please give some sample templates so we can go through and we can create those naming convention as per our company and provide you in SAP ABAP standard document so what I did I went through SAP standard artifacts which are already available in the system and the SAP standard documentations and some of the blocks and I try to create so we can suggest this one to our client and based on that they can decide and if you have some input in this document you can write it down in comment section we can discuss further okay, this for example for this one we can use instead of this naming convention we can use this as well that also we can discuss so let's get started we'll go through one by one all the naming convention first we will discuss the cds naming convention then wrap artifacts naming convention and launchpad configuration object naming convention and we will give the some examples and guidelines so we start with the cds naming convention general format and cds is usual we start with z or y for the custom objects so for production object we always z then we will use the module for which module you are creating your this particular cds you are creating for the sd module you are creating for the mm module some companies use as the mm2 character some companies use three character ptp or TC like that based on that we have to follow the same and some companies are not using also because they are creating those object in one of the packages so for example for PTP pack package they are creating all the PTP artifacts in the PTP package so they are not using this module name in the object name instead of they will go to the package and they will search that object accordingly that also happening so based on the your company you can decide then we have to give the appropriate description of that your CDS then we will give the suffix those type module and suffix we will discuss further no need to worry and we can give after suffix versioning as well so first we will discuss what what all are the types we can have and what should we use in, instead of type for example here i use z i we can use z c so there are different types are there for the basic cds views which we create on top of the directly tables that is reusable so that is the re reason we use the r zr then we give the appropriate uh, module name and the description and we have the composite interface view which will be created on top of this basic views and other tables as well so those composite interface view or we can use the i that since these are the interface view so we are using the i next is the consumption or projection view and the fury model we used to call the ABAP fury model we used to call those consumption and in wrap we call the projection use so for that we will use the zc type we are discussing zc then we give the module name then appropriate description remote api that is the one important thing suppose i want to consume another service which we have to discuss still in our rap video series i will create one video how we can consume other service in our wrap application that also will gonna create on another video that for that also you have to create one cds view or custom cds entity so for that also you can use za so a means we are consuming the api from outside and that can be triggered as a remote api so that is the reason i'm using za and we have view extension if you have existing cds views we are we want to extend with the annotations associations then we can use ZX and we want to just include the fields then we use the ZE 
and for the derivative derivation function some of the cds function used only for the calculation purpose on those cds used to define that that is the derivation function means thus there is calculation or some function we are doing calculation we are doing so we can use zf also and for the abstract entity so those cds which is only having the types type of cds for example abstract entity we created as part of rev video series for one of the pop up in this video, in this application also we will create and uh, for that we use the zd abstract entity so that's just the type of the cds is cds used as a type it's like a structure so these are the naming convention you can follow if something i have missed you can discuss further in comment section some cds or something like that then suffix this is we discuss about the type what all are the type we have used then module we already know all company have the modules i don't want to discuss further then we have the suffix for the suffix what there are different suffix especially when we work with the uh, analytical modeling so we have an another dimension uh, so bw guys create cds for the analytical purpose we also can create i nowadays uh, one of the project i have created the cds for the analytical purpose as well where we have to create the cubes dimensions facts and the queries for the cube cds you you can use atlas c for the q uh, query cds you you can you can for query cds view obviously it is the consumption cds view most of the time so you can use underscore q at last and for the text cds view you can use underscore t and there there is something called the our fury application also when we create some of the cds view use for the curd operations in travel also we have created the travel cds view that is used for the curd operation to indicate that one at last we can use the tp tp will indicate that it this cds used for the transactional processing that indicate this cds have some behavior definition where we are doing some curd operation so that we can do at last we can add the suffix underscore tp for value help we are creating the cds view then we have we can use either vh or standard value have sth std vh anything you can use both of them are fine so this is the suffix we can use to indicate further things what kind of cds this is why we created this cds so we discuss about the type we discuss about the module we discuss about the suffix now next thing why we are doing this thing because we don't want to whenever we see the cds name we should able to see what purpose this cds view is created and like we follow in other aba program also some of the programs is creating for the report purpose some of the programs creating for the in, uh, inter, interface purpose so that there are also we use zr zi in same way the cds will be indicate what is the purpose of this particular cds and one more thing whenever you use this description also you try to use the camel case why i am suggesting here camel case instead of the underscore because uh, when you create the cds even you do the shift f1 it will not convert in upper and lower case in the cds view so that is the reason try to use the camel case and it will since sap is standard also if you go cds use you will see you will follow they will follow the same so we will try to follow the same instead of underscore try to give the camel case and it will be consistent throughout your company and last but not most thing in cds why we are creating uh, some uh, we are giving some uh, alias name try to give uh, try to give appropriate name in, instead of abbreviation ord nobody can understand ord can anything so you have to give order let it be little bit bigger name so somebody will see then he will able to understand what purpose this cds view so for the cds view naming that i talked about most of the things about the description we should give in the camel case and we should not use the abbreviations and it should be uniform throughout your company this is all about the cds name now the field name in the cds view we created the cds view different field we are giving the field name have the also we have to follow the naming convention we are fetching the directly data from the tables but table fields vbfk we don't understand we just want to give the appropriate name sales order so for that also we can follow this approach we can divide the desk the name into three part first will be the object for which object you are creating you are creating for sales order purchase order production order process order so you can use the object name second you can give the what is the property and third is the representative term so representative term tell this field is related to date time time stamp quantity amount or 
duration so that kind of term we can put at last so it will be indicative that what purpose we have created and property name what is the actual proper property for example sales order confirmation date so since it is date i put at last date and sales since it is related to sales order so i put first sales order in between i put the property name that is confirmation date so what what all are the con representative terms can be so as i told you it can be the amount it can be date time time stamp quantity text can be there so you have to use at last tax for example uh, amount tax amount i have used i want to use sales order tax amounts you can use sales order tax amount you can use the order indicator so something is released so order is released so some indicator you can use for the released date time so these are the representative term at last we can see some of the example you can do and based on your uh, thought you can give and always try to use the camel case for the filled name don't use under, underscore sap is doing the same so this is the representative term term last one i am discussing these are the cds filled name we can use the next thing is the wrap artifacts the wrap artifacts we have the service definition and service binding tds we already discussed all the things on top of that we create the service definition and service style service definition we can create for the ui purpose also and we can create for the api purpose ui purpose we will be gonna create out of the service some ui application and web api means we will not gonna create any application we just want to expose the data to the outer system so for that we can create the cds view where we will not give any metadata file or well we will not define any uh, ui annotation in our consumption layer so that also we can create that is the one step only so you can use for the ui services you you should use that ui and for the api you should use that api then module name then description then the service binding further service binding also can be created for the ui and api so you have to use that api and that ui and at last since service binding can be the odata v2 or odata v4 if you have odata v2 then you use you should use underscore o2 and if you have odata v4 then you should underscore o4 so thus based on the whenever somebody see the service binding so they can able to recognize that uh, this is created for ui or api and this is the o2 odata so o data v2 version or v4 version based on that they can decide the uh, what how they can consume so this is all about the service definition and service binding the next is the internal name in the behavior definitions uh, whenever we create the new class always try to use zbp so we will be able to understand that this particular class is created for the wrap purpose and the behavior pool this is the behavior pool class so we should use zbp for that and for the local classes also we can follow for the handler class we can use zlhc and for the server class we can use zlsc you don't know what is handler class what is the server class what is behavior pool you try to follow my rap series you will understand i explain in detail there the association name i told you in cds series also always start with the underscore and it should be in camel case and we should not use underscore in between so like that you can follow the association names also last thing for the fury purpose when you create the business tech at Tech catalogs so technical catalog you should start ztc for business catalog you can start g module name directly the description so like that you can follow for the whenever you are creating the catalogs so what is catalogs what it pages species that we will discuss in some other fury series but naming convention wise you can use this one so this is when you are creating new spaces and pages then you can use zsp and z for pages you can use zpz and give the module name and the description appropriate and you can do the you can follow the appropriate naming convention so key recommendation always follow the naming convention whenever somebody see your cds view name or rap artifacts name you he should able to understand what purpose the cds view is created what purpose your service is created and and he will able to make out something so based on that he can make some decisions like we usually do in our classical web we should follow in the cds and wrap artifact also with that this was the short video i just want to add this video in the cds series as well and i want to add in the wrap series as well so that is the reason i created the separate video so i will add both the places both the playlist you can go through my cds playlist you can go through my wrap playlist both the places you will find this particular video 
and with that if you want to suggest some other naming convention and if you want to uh, if i have missed some naming uh, for some cds naming convention please write it down in comment section i will aid those also in this ppt and this ppt will be shared on the linkedin you can use from that and description the uh, of that particular linkedin post will be in the description you can go through that and you can suggest and with that thank you before going to next videos please like this video subscribe this channel whatever you are feeling write it down in comment section share this video with that thank you and happy learning